What's up, y'all? This is Nina Perez, and this is Straight Talk, No Sugar Added. As you know, we are here to discuss life topics to grow, challenge, and transform your thinking. I have something fun for you today. So Dan Hafner is here, and he is the founder and creator of the Dapper Mobile app and has been building and marketing on uh, building marketing apps for about since 2018. So just a little while, just a little while, right? So he specializes in no code space. Guys, does anybody know how to code out there? Because sister don't know how to code. Okay. So he's in the no code space and works specifically with coaches and experts and many different niches to help them streamline and scale their business through their own custom app and software. And that is actually really cool, Dan, because I know that I've been uh, getting reached out a lot by all these like cold calls, right? And all these different like emails and companies trying to have me build my own app, right? And so I really wanted to get you on here because I think I know that I have a wide variety of entrepreneurs and coaches that listen to the show. So this can be right up their alley. So welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for having me on the show, Nina. This is this is exciting. I'm real. I'm real pumped. Yeah, good, good. Because I'm I'm a I'm a high energy pump kind of girl. So we're gonna go I for it. <laughs> so, um, Dan, before we get into like all the good stuff, I would I do want to also know a little bit more about you. So tell my audience, you know, about you and how you arrived to the Dan you are today. Yeah. Oh man, that's uh, that's a long story. I'll try to keep it short. Um, yeah. So, like she said, my name is Dan Hafner. I live in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Um, okay. It's actually kind of cool. Coast. I know a lot of people. Uh, you know, the, the new Netflix show, the meltdown of the Three Mile Island stuff. I live right across the street from that. Oh wow. Um, yeah. So it's kind of an interesting thing I like to tell people about because, like, you could see my house in the show and like all that stuff. Um, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> yeah. So if I'm glowing, that's that's why. You know. <laughs> it's um, awful. um but yeah i live here with my wife Uh, i've been married like just over four years now we were talking we have three dogs uh before this so uh no kids yet we're probably probably getting there soon but uh but those are our kids for now Mm -hmm. um she's in the medical space um so she does she actually works in like the nicu um so she like bless her heart she works with a lot of like preemie babies and like that kind of stuff so she's a very very special person so um we we've been here in harrisburg for a couple of years might be moving again next year that's kind of been i'll get into more probably about that uh, with your line of questioning but um but yeah i mean that's that's really where we what we're doing what i've been up to and um been in this entrepreneurial space uh, kind of because of her traveling type of uh, job. Oh, We've been okay. in different places for a few different years. Um, and this has just kind of been something that I dove into as a hobby a long time ago and kind of turned it into a business. Um, but yeah, I mean, I just, that's a lot about me kind of professionally. I just, I like to, I like sports, I like hunting. I like walking, running. I'm training for another half marathon here in the, oh, cool. in the fall. So that's, that's a little bit about me. Yeah. Where do you want to move to? Do you know where you want to move to? Well, we don't know. It depends on where she can get a job. Um, oh, okay. so she, you know, we have, we still have family here in Pennsylvania. Um, Pittsburgh might be somewhere where she's from Pittsburgh. I'm from Erie PA. Okay. Um, but we lived in Virginia for a while, to be honest. And, uh, we missed that. That was, yeah, that was uh, nice. Virginia, like Southwest Virginia, like Virginia mm. tech Blacksburg area. Oh, it was, it was so beautiful down there. People are awesome. Um, so we'll see. We don't really know yeah. where we'll yeah. end up. So. Well, that's a, that's a, that could be very exciting and, and also stressful. But it depends on, on how yeah. and why you want to leave. Right. It's yeah. funny because um, I'm actually covering my boxes who are on this side of the room because we have to move too, but we just don't know where to yet. So mm. that's always exciting to have this big move. Right. Ugh. Anyway, let's not talk about yeah. moving. I hate it. Um, so <laughs> let's talk about um, your entrepreneurship. So was that something that you've always been in the space? And because you said this started as a hobby. So, you know, were you always into like this IT or this digital space? Is that what you've d- always done? No, <laughs> not at all. No. <laughs> um, so it was funny. I uh, so I, I I was working kind of doing just like a bunch of different jobs out of college. And when I moved to be where my wife went to med school um, through a friend of a friend, I got into the IT world. She kind of had like a help desk job for me that she could hook me up with. Right. Um, and that kind of started my journey into I had no idea. Like I didn't know how to use browsers. I didn't know anything about web apps and, and all this different tech stuff. And I was kind of thrown into the fire and I learned it. 
Um, and then from there, I got promoted in that job into a place where I was like a QA tester where I did um, I actually that was my job was to like break apps. So I worked with coders who were building apps, um, you know, on mobile devices and on browsers. And it was my job to like break them to figure out like, well, hey, you didn't quite code this right or this doesn't work. Or when you show it this way, it doesn't work. And that kind of started my whole like journey into this. Um, because it was really fun. It was really fascinating. And I kind of learned a little bit about how things were built and about the cycle and how much really goes into building software. It's like people think it's easy and it's the furthest thing from it. it it's so there could be so much into it. So complicated. Um, and then after that, when we had moved again, um, it got really hard to hold down a job for a while because we were moving so often. And I was like, I got to I got to figure something out. So um, I just kind of had an idea one day. I mentioned I like to run. I got an idea for an app and um, just kind of wanted to, to to chase it down and figure it out. And then I ran into two problems. And, and you probably know, too, like I, I don't know how to code. I never really learned that. Um, and that was not fun to learn. I tried it for like a few days and it was like, yeah, don't really want to learn that. Um, and then I decided to look look into like agencies and people who could build it for me. And then I found that that was super expensive. They were wanting like a hundred thousand, hundred fifty thousand dollars for the idea that I had. And I'm like, come on, man, I don't have that kind of cash laying around. That's ridiculous. You know? Um, so that, lo and behold, you know, a couple of Google searches later, here I am learning about no code solutions and all the different platforms out there. And, uh, that's kind of how I fell into this whole, like I just started using platform after platform after platform after platform. There's all kinds of them out there. And I finally found the one that fit what I needed and I launched my app and I grew it. And then I, from there, I learned how to market it and learned how to do all that stuff with it. And, uh, and it was just kind of like a, eventually when I was doing a podcast and, and people were like, Hey, you think you could do that for me? And that's kind of how it evolved into a business. It just kind of organically became that. I was like, huh, there's probably a bigger business in doing what I just did. Taught, I taught myself the skill, right? Um, than actually doing the, the the one little business idea that I had for the app, right? Um, so that's kind of how it evolved into that. So I made that pit, that switch and that pivot into that. And that's what I do now. So I can't hear you, Nina. Sorry about that. Oh, that's okay. So you got into a um, an actual program that basically taught you like the no code um, and, and like how to do a, a program with a no code. Is that that right? No, no, actually. See, that's that's one of the faults of a mm. lot of these platforms is you have to figure it out yourself. Okay. A lot of them, they make it, they, they market it and they'll they'll say it's it's super easy and it can be learned. And hey, you can set your own app in three easy steps. Yes. All this stuff, right? <laughs> yes. But it's not that easy. No, like, it's not. I, I That's why basically what I do is if you have this idea and you have this platform or maybe you've already tried it and you've built it and you've wasted money on this, like I can actually come in and consult and like help you and be like, well, this probably isn't what you're looking for. You probably need, you know, this type of software, this type of thing, mm -hmm. because, you know, as, as entrepreneurs, we, we don't, you, you don't really have the time to figure all that out. Right? right. Like I, even for me, I don't, I don't even like to do my own funnels and my own websites anymore because it's not my area of expertise. Right. Right. right? Same, like I would same. rather just pay yeah. someone to figure mm -hmm. it out and be like, Hey, I need this done. What's mm -hmm. this going to cost? Okay. Boom. There you go. Right. So when I, when I joined into it, a lot of them will have like support documents and help documents and that kind of stuff. But that's where I was like, okay, what if I could help people do this and not only give them the software to do it, but also train, like also be like, Hey, that's good. Yeah. I can help. I can hold your hand and help you through this because it's complicated. <laughs> it's not yeah. as easy as it seems. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, so that was kind of how I, I taught myself, really. No, that's good. And you know what I like about that um, is that you're absolutely right. They There are so many out there that say, yeah, three easy steps, pop it in, boom, you're done. You got an app going. And I'm like, it will probably be the most basic of all apps. It will not, you know, basically, you can't even pick a color or something like that, right? Because yeah. let's be real, it is complicated. And that's why, I mean, listen, damn, I'm going to just be confessing to all y'all right now, okay? I barely can copy the code and put it into like my website and stuff like that because I'm like, did I do that right? It's not coming out, you yeah. know? Um, because I mean, it's just a, it's a whole nother language, right? It's, it's like, if you're somebody who doesn't do any finances and they throw you into an accounting department, you're like, right. what? 
you know, it's the same thing, right? So I totally, I totally get what you're saying. So take me through a little bit of what this experience is like, right? Because I love the the aspect that you added to this, which is the hand holding aspect. Like, like I said to you, a lot of people have reached out to me because I'm a coach and my platform is growing. And so I'm getting more noticed out there. There's all these people now running at me with these apps, right? Mm -hmm. um, which I don't want to uh, launch this yet. Cause I kept saying, I can't do this on my own. So you're doing the hand holding part, which all of you guys out there, which I know there's a lot of coaches and a lot of like, um, you know, um, entrepreneurs and stuff that are out here. I know you guys, cause you guys are always talking to me. So listen up. All right. Cause Dan's about to break it down to you. All right. So Dan, how do we do this? Like, say, I say to you, you know what, Dan, I have my women's business coaching program and I don't know what the heck I'm doing with this coding stuff, but I would like to have an app so I can support my clients. Right. So, um, take me through that experience. Yeah. So I think even before you dive into all of that, you know, building the app and designing and all that stuff, like what I really like to do is walk through business processes with people. Right. right? Um, because you got to be strategic about this stuff, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. like, okay, am I, are you doing a group program or are you doing one-on-one -on -one stuff? I love this. Do you want, mm -hmm. do you want to offer free content to people? Um, do you want to have kind of what we call the freemium, you know, version of like Spotify, right? Like where you can use your app for free and mm -hmm. you can get free coaching or do you just want to be like, nope, this is only for my clients. Right. Right. So I like to walk through. The business process is first, like the kind of the ascension ladder of like, okay, here's how we're going to do this. Here's how I'm going to fulfill this. Right. That's great. So you're kind of coaching as well then. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I used to just be like, I'll build you the thing and I'll do it for you. And then mm -hmm. I just was like, you know, there's a, just like you said, I, I kind of fell into this coaching area because yeah. I, like, I just really need to help people because they, they would, they would have the app and then they wouldn't have success with it. So I'm right. like, all right, I'll teach you how to market it. I'll teach you how to like, you know, kind of do all this. So um, but yeah, I mean, that's really what it is. And then we, I kind of look at like the programs you have, um, you know, the, re the repetition of it. What are you doing to actually um, re-engage your people, right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, do you have or do you already have membership sites set up? Do you already have, um, you know, Zoom links set up? Like, what is the structure of your program? Because some that's people good. come to me and I'm like, I mean, you already have all this and it's working. Um, so if you really want to put it in an app, you know, that would be that'd be great, but you don't really need to. It's only if you really want to take it to the next level. So everyone comes in at different levels, right? right. If you don't have anything. If you come and you're like, Hey, I want to build this awesome 12 week program and I want to put it in an app and I want to do all this stuff. I'm going to be like, all right, great. What do you have? And they're like, nothing I'm like, okay. And that probably isn't for you because it's easier to work with stuff when you have stuff, you know what I mean? Right. Like it's easier right. to do that. Um, so that's really the first step, you know? Mm -hmm. And then a lot of it just becomes, um, just sharing documentation of like, all right, like let's, let's figure out, you know, what we can do, how we can do it. And then, all right, here's like your week one stuff. Here's your week two stuff. We can like, oh, that's you know, great. Then that's you can great. just basically upload it to a shared folder and that kind of stuff. And then boom, it's all there for me and my team to look at and be like, all right, we'll organize it for you and we'll, we'll do all that. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's minimal effort really on, on your part. Um, because we, we try to do most of the heavy lift, heavy lifting for you. But it, but again, it's, it comes down to the business process. Right. You want to set it up so it's logical. You want automation. You want to make sure that when somebody buys something or opts into something, that they're getting access to that. that yeah. They get sent the email, that they get put into a, a sequence, that they make that you they have access to everything that they paid for. And you mm -hmm. don't have to do it all. You can be sitting on the beach drinking a Mai Tai, right? Right, so right. So that's, that's really what I like to do is because even though it's a lot of, it can be a lot of work up front, it's, it pays off because yeah. then you, just, you can sit back and let it run. Yeah. And I think, you know, that's, um, that's really great. And so I, I want to, I want you to take me through what you mean when you say it will take you to the next level. Right. So, um, well, I'll use me as an example, just because I'm here. Right. So, so I have, uh, I have my coaching program. I'm actually about to launch, uh, uh, I restructured my coaching program and it's about to relaunch. Right. So, um, I come to you, I have my zoom links, I have my calendar, I got my blah, 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 blah. Right. Um, and then I say, all right, Dan, how do you take me to the next level? And what the hell does that mean? Right. Yeah. Because I think that, oh, and this is the reason why I ask you, Dan, because I was looking at your website. You look really legit. I like what you have on there. And I saw some of the, um, apps that you had built for other people. Right. And they're really like professional. Like, it's not like 
the plug and play ones we were just talking about a few minutes ago. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm just wondering when you say you're going to take somebody, a coaching program, a freelance, whatever it is, to that next place, what do, what is the benefit for that? Like, why should somebody think about investing in that? Well, where do you want to go? Do you, right. you know, Nina, do you, do you want to, do you want to work with people one-on-one? -on -one? Do you want to be limited by your time? Or do you want to just be able to be like, Hey, here's what it is. Here's what I offer. And let's go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so it automates it more is what you're saying. Yeah. I mean, honestly, that's, that's really what I've seen it work better for inside mm -hmm, of a mm -hmm. lot of our clients, you know, cause you can use it as both. You can, you, what you really, what I really like to use it for is the back end fulfillment piece, right? Like right. you build the program. Hey, everything's here. It makes it so easy. Like the copy, the, the, the marketing copy writes itself, right? Like, Hey, I got this awesome program. It's right. all set up. You can take it wherever you want. It's all here. Just buy it. Right. Right. And then, but you can also use it just like we're doing here on a podcast. You can use it as a lead magnet source. Be like, Hey, we have this awesome stuff in our app. Just download it here. You can opt in. So if you're looking to build an email list or build, you know, a text message list or whatever, um, you know, we had one lady, uh, one of my very first client, actually, she went from zero subscribers to over 5,000 people on her list in three weeks. Wow. Through her app, like mm -hmm. just through her app. It was crazy. Right. Mm -hmm. Because it's convenient. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's like right so, on your phone. It's convenient. So, yeah. yeah. So when you when you talk about like the next level, I mean, that that's that's part of what is involved in our onboarding stuff, too, is like, mm -hmm. OK, you know, where do you really want to go? Do you want this to be your only source of income? Do you mm -hmm. want it to just be a supplemental thing? Do you want it to just serve as, you know, remove you as the fulfillment bottleneck so you can just point people to this? Um, because a lot of people have different, you know, different goals. Are you trying to just make a thousand dollars a month? Or are you trying to make $50,000 a month through your program? Or like, what is it? Right. 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 Um, and then we also have a new add on to everything that we've been doing that helps you further bring everything under one roof. I'm talking like your funnels and your website and your oh. text messaging and your, your membership area and your, and, and just everything like that. Um, so it's, Again, it's, it's it's a lot, but it gets very. We just got to get very clear on like where do you want this to go? What what does right. success look like to you? So, do you have an example of um, like the client you just had? Do you have an example of what some coaches that you've already worked with have used it for? Just to yeah. give us a better idea, can you give us an example or two? Yeah, there's actually another lady I thought of when you when you were asking the last question. She came to me, and we were originally going to redo. She already had an app, so she we were in, through a no code platform. And she would just wanted me to redo it. And as we kind of got more into it, she was like, well, let's just, I, all I want to do, she was working with people one-on-one. -on -one. She does mm -hmm. like health and fitness stuff, right? And she was just like, her, you should see her calendar. It gives me nightmares. It, like, it's so stressful. Her calendar is just <laughs> booked. All I will night. not show you mine. Oh, you're going to die. <laughs> but it's all it's all one-on-one -on -one appointments right, and right. check-ins. And I'm like, why aren't you doing group coaching? Because right. she was just doing one on one. They would pay one time for a 12 week program. And I'm like, look, like you could be serving so many more people if you did this in a group fashion. Like you're having the same conversation 20 times a day. Why aren't you just doing this in a group coaching? Thing? Right. Right. So she wanted to do check in calls. She wanted to do, make sure that when they bought the program that they were getting getting access to it. So what we did was we just figured out like, all right here's like i said before here's the business process like someone books a call through you they get on a sales call you give them the sales funnel it, this all happens through the app right and then boom they get access to it and they get they get just put into this automation for 12 weeks right so because she was just saying like dan like all i want to do is be able to go on vacation and forget about this stuff i don't want to have to do all this right and now she's on vacation like as we're talking right now i know this is probably airing later on but like right now she's on vacation and this is working for her, right? Like, so right. she's able to book her call. She's able to like block off her calendar. And now she's actually in a place where she can take, she was like, I had to shut off new clients coming in because she couldn't handle them anymore. Right, right. right? So by doing this and by figuring out like, okay, here's where the, the friction piece is. Here's where the fulfillment bottlenecks happening. We were able to get rid of those yeah and then boom she could just be like all right let's open the floodgates again she was blowing up on tiktok she went back to doing all that and then it just started coming in and boom 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 so it's just it just happens like that so right yeah, right so she's still one. doing the one-on-one -on -one, or was she doing it more like uh like teaching already had the teaching set up through the app 
Um, both. Yeah. Like we, okay, we were able okay. to set it up through the app. So now yeah. she can do one-on-one. Um, I'm still, she, I don't know if she's doing group yet. I, I, I still pushing her to do it. I'm like, look, <laughs> you, could, you can really do better doing right. it this way, but that's what right. she wants to do. So, and, and that's the cool thing is it's your business. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's really great. I mean, I love that you're doing that because, you know, it's really important, Dan, like I think all of us need a coach, right? I always say that not because I'm a coach, but because I've needed coaches in my life and I have one, right? So, and it's something that, you know, even I'm doing now where I'm, you know, building out some more of a, a streamlined funnel in my life just because I need to, I'm, I'm just overwhelmed with so many clients and my calendar is full and it's great. It's great. So I'm actually coming up with a, a putting group into that as well, because of what you just said, it becomes overwhelming. And then you have them scheduled out throughout the week. And it's just, it's a lot. Right. And I do a yeah. podcast and, you know, and I also am a professional chef. So I have a restaurant that I run and all this other stuff. So it's like, who has time? Not Nina. Right. So I like yeah. what you're doing, but I like that you're doing the coaching piece to it. I, I think that's the part that really like, um, you know, perked up my ears because I think that um, a lot of us are throwing sometimes money at the wall and hoping something sticks. Right. And so it's like you said, she did this app already on a no code and still needed you to redo the app. Right. So um, tell us about your app program. Like uh, you don't have to give us prices and stuff, because I'm sure all of that's different compared to how heavy and big uh, the the um, monster is going to be for you to have to manage. Right. Or to put together. Now, do they stay with you uh, to, for maintenance and stuff like that throughout the, the program of the app? Um, is that something like, you know, oh, Dan, this isn't working. You know, can you guys fix this? Like, will you constantly support them once the yeah. app is up? Yep. Okay. Once you're in the Dapper Mobile Apps family, you're in it for life. You know what for I mean? Life. Like, okay. You're you're, you're good to go. Um, good. But uh, but yeah, I mean, I really try to I mean, I'm, I'm kind of still in that phase, too, where I'm kind of like you, where I'm trying to streamline things. And I've taken on, I, I took on a little bit too much of one-on-one -on -one work and I'm trying mm -hmm. to kind of phase out of that now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's why I've, I've kind of broken it down into three different paths, right? Um, I actually, I didn't for, for the longest time, I wanted to do this like done with you, done for you type of deal. Cause I just mm -hmm. saw that there were so many people who just needed this help. Right. But I do, I still have a lot of people who can't quite like afford that or don't really want to go to that level yet. So I do have like a done, a do it yourself type of deal. Like you can just subscribe to the software. You can figure it out yourself. We have, I have a whole like course that'll walk you through it, but it's, it's again, it's just my version of like, right. here you go, go ahead, figure right. it out. You, mm -hmm. It's like a click funnels type of deal. Like you can try it. If you don't want to use it, you can just unsubscribe and you can move on. Um, but then I also, like you said, I have the flagship program, which is like, Hey, we'll give you the software give you all this access. And then there's five calls a week. It's training like, Hey, here's how you implement the system. Here's where you can do this in the software. Here's how you implement it with the right. app. Here's how you can do it with marketing. Here's how you tie it in with sales. Right. So um, it's really like, like no client left behind type of thing. Right. That's like good. it's really yeah. what it tries to be. Um, and then for those of, you know, for those people out there that just are like, can't do that. Um, I just I would rather pay you to do it. We have a done for you uh, white glove type of service where yeah. we'll just be like, like I said earlier, we'll just come in and be like, all right, we'll just help you build it. We'll help you do it. And then we support people through the maintenance of it. Oh, great. Right? And then there's also, there's a couple of people who have been like, well, okay, I've, I've got this set up and it's, it's still a lot to manage, Dan. Like this is a whole new thing that I have going on. I have new people coming in. I have clients like this is a, this is a new thing. Can you manage this for me? <laughs> and I'm like, well, I'm not going to manage it for you, but we can, if you have a VA or if you want us to provide you a VA, like we have a program, I'm just starting this up. I only have a couple of people trying it out, but you can actually get a VA or bring your own VA and we can help you like actually train them on how to use the whole system. That's great. Wow. So try to make it as, as yeah. frictionless as possible because yeah. it, it can be a lot like managing your own app, like doing all this stuff. Once a lot, a lot of people think about that. I try to tell them, I'm like, well, once you get this thing up and going, like, yeah, you got to maintain it. You can't just like not touch it. You know what I mean? Right. Um, right. So there, but there's minimal stuff. Like once you get it set up, it's there, but you do have to update. You have to make sure that it looks like it's fresh. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like mm -hmm. people, people can tell, you can tell when you go on a website and it was built in the nineties. You yeah. know what I mean? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so sure there's, there's sure updates can. and things like that, but yeah, yeah. We, we like to keep it, you know, so you can, we can do updates, we can do consultative calls. Uh, even some people we have like 
every few months they'll come in and be like, Hey Dan, I want to refresh this. I, I don't like this. Like, look, I want to just change this up. Let's do it. So, you know, it's definitely all included for that. That's so, awesome. That's really, yeah. really great. I want you to like touch on just a couple more things. I'd like to know, like, does the app, you know, like kind of like what is the capacity, right? So you, do you do, uh, can a, can a person go and do their calendar on there? Can they do chats on there? Can they do, you know, calls through there. Like, tell me a little bit about the features in the, um, in that building out your app. Yeah. So that's a good question. And you got to remember with, uh, with what we do, it's inside of the no code space. Right. So a lot of it is templatized. A lot of it's already kind of set up for okay. you. And then with this new addition, this new product uh, that I'll probably tell you about later, it's, it's allowing a lot more of that. So yeah, you can do videos, you can do your podcast, you can do, right. you can tie your YouTube channel into it. Um, we have, you know, calendars that you can sync into that. Like I have in, inside of my app that you can just book a call right there. Um, you can do the membership stuff. Um, I mean, you can even do different things, um, like chat bots, like support things, mm -hmm. um, as far mm -hmm. as like, you know, like when you see a little pop-up come like, Hey, can we help you or whatever? Right. Um, knowledge bases, those types of things. Um, and then you can even get fun with, you know, like blogs and, and custom things like we um, we just did a, a special feature for a leaderboard um, for for, you know, somebody just wanted to be like, hey, I want to make this a competition for, for our clients and like make mm -hmm. it fun. So there's like a little leaderboard that they get they get updates every few days of like, oh, this person took the lead and this, you know, like different just fun things like that that you can do. Um, so there's there's a lot to oh, it. And that, that's that's lot. Yeah. That's what's really kind of cool is is not, it's not only like a lot of people. I just talked about this on another podcast that I was on. Was like a lot of people get this this feeling of like oh it's no code. It's like oh it's junk. It's just like if you if you you can't. It's like fitting a round peg into a square hole. It just it doesn't work right. Like we have custom abilities to to do that with. We can put code into it, just like you said, like copying right. and pasting different code. Right. So if you get an idea to be like hmm. I want to do this differently. Um, there's possibilities there, right? right. So there's different add-ons, different coding things you can have just plugged right in there. So, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. and that sounds hefty too because that sounds like what everybody really needs, right? They need their they need a place to book their calls. They need a place to be able to if if it's somebody like me to put on their podcast, to put on you know um, their videos and stuff like that for their fitness, especially like for the fitness people want to do like exercises already for their clients, things like yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, and one thing I forgot to say too was live streaming. Um, that's oh, you can live thing. stream on it too. Yeah, oh, yeah, whatever. yeah. We okay. Can do live streaming. <laughs> Everything. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> I I really have dove dove. Dove. I've dove down the rabbit hole into that's everything awesome. that's possible. And I even yeah. do, I do lives twice a week through my own app. Oh, that's awesome. Training and different things like that. Yeah. So it's, you can do all that stuff too. That's good. And that, you know, and that's important because a lot of people do want to do those lives and connect with a bunch of their, you know, fans and things like that. So that's really great. So before we like start wrapping up though, I do want you to tell me what you keep alluding to that's coming. Can we talk about that? Yeah, for okay, sure. Let's for drop sure. it drop it <laughs> let's do it so um yeah so like i said when i started this whole thing uh even when i had my own app right i just had the app and then i would like i went out and marketed it and i started getting downloads and leads every single day people signing up in the app and i didn't know what to do with them right yeah. so what i was doing was i was taking all these other pieces of software out there like hubspot sales mate those types of crms mailchimp and i was manually copying them over and i was trying to send them drip emails, trying to make sales with it. And I was just like, it was just too many stove too many pipe things. things yeah. You know what I mean? So this new product, which I'm calling Launchpad, Launchpad, yes, to launch <laughs> or scale your business, right? It is, it is everything um, that you need for a business in a box combined with a mobile app software, right? So like I said, it's your funnels, it's your website, it's your text messages, it's your forms, your surveys, your membership area, wow. and a mobile app software and how all that integrates together. Now that's very, very powerful because both of these things have existed in the past and it would require separate subscriptions. I mean, you could probably pay a thousand dollars a month for all this type of software. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Easy. Mm -hmm. And what I've done is combined all that into one software. 
into one thing. So you can be like, hey, here's my app. Here's my stuff. Here's my funnels. If you don't even need the app, you can still use it for other stuff, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. um, so it's called Launchpad. You can get it at launchpadproject.net. That is the uh, that's the URL that I got for it. Um, and it is, it's really, really cool. I mean, yeah, it's, it it, cool. it's going to be... Oh man, it's it's really fun. We already have some some beta users of, of it at the time of this recording, and they're just like just blowing up with it. So um, that's so good. Yeah, so that's Isn't what that it is. good when you see your 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 um, beginnings and your baby kind of just start blowing up and like expanding. That's super fun. Um, and what you have is needed. Uh, so I'm really glad you came on. I'm glad we spoke about it because I know, like I said, I have a ton of, you know, I mean, I, that's why I speak to, I speak to a ton of entrepreneurs. I speak to a ton of coaches. I speak to a, a, a bunch of CEOs and all this stuff. So this is fantastic because I, I, I really feel like this is bringing value to the table and something that people can really look into as opposed to, you know, cause a lot of people, that listen to straight talk, they trust me, right? So I don't just bring people on here just because. I mean, we I, I look at what you do, we talk about what you do, I read what you know what's going on, I go onto your website, like all that stuff, because I bring value to my people. They're my people, right? So they're straight talkers, that's what they are. So we, you know, that's something that's super important to me, Dan. So I'm glad you came on, really, and I'm glad you shared all this knowledge because I think this is gonna be a really great marriage between you and the people who are listening. So before I let you go, though, they need to know how to get you. How do they get Dan? Right. So you got to let us know, you know, how they really can go on to see, you know, Dapper and like what like I did when I went onto your site and I was able to see all of these um, great apps that were on there. I was like, wow, that that looks hefty. Like that doesn't look like those copy and paste ones I see like on Instagram when they you know, when they're having all these little messaging going on. But go ahead and drop us all of your information on where we could find you, work with you, build our own apps, things like that. Absolutely. So just like you said, dappermobileapps.com. That's, That's a cool the, name, the, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know probably people can't see it, but I got the like the, the whole logo and everything. The, <laughs> I love the it. The tuxedo t-shirt and all this stuff. So um so yeah, that's where you can go. You can book a free call with me. I'm always up to uh, chat with people about ideas. It's completely free. Um, I'm that. always always available for that. I love to love to talk shop with people, um, even if you're just kicking kicking the idea around. Mm -hmm. um, you can find a lot there. I mean, I, I could I could promote the podcast, the app, all this different stuff. But you can find everything there. Um, and then that will probably by the time this comes out, it doesn't right now, but it will by the time it comes out have a link to that Launchpad software that I've mentioned before. Yeah, that's um, great. So that that will be a huge, huge game changer for people. And even if you want to know more about that, I would just book a call through DapperMobileApps.com, and I can I'd love to give you a demo. Um, we'll probably have a webinar and stuff up by then. Um, cause like I said, this is, this is kind of a baby right now. It's, right, just, right, it's right. kind of out of the box. Um, but it's gonna, it's gonna mature very, very quickly. So. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> like when you have <laughs> something that's like, no, really when you have, when you have entrepreneurs and we're like going into 50 different directions and you can put it in one space. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't know what else to say, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the, the podcast, is it called Dapper? Um, the podcast is called Mobile Domination. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. You, do you like that? Do you like podcasting? I do. I do. I've I've been uh, I've been I've been very inconsistent with it uh, over over the actually it used to be called Run Your Day. It was a it was oh. like a business. It was like a motivational podcast, mm -hmm. and I rebranded it because um, I just love to talk about this type of you know business stuff and things like that. But I do have I have a whole bank of like over 300 episodes where you, if, you, if you're just wanting some motivation, some inspiration, I used to just go off on, on different things. Oh, that's too, so, so cool. Yeah, I yeah. Do, I do love it, yeah. Good, good. All right, cool. So um, thank you so much for being here, honestly, and dropping all of this because I think this is going to be really fun and something that a lot of us need. And so, you know, I want to make sure that we, you know, I wanted to make sure that when we came on here that it gave value to people listening to say, oh, wow, okay, Dan sounds like he's the real deal. He sounds like he knows what he's talking about. His business looks like they're going to support me, especially in, in the things that I need. But the, the bonus to all of that, Dan, is that they're not just going onto a program, paying for something, downloading it and figuring it out. But the fact that they can make a call and you help them through it and what does your business look like and all that is so key to what you're doing. So kudos to you, man. Great Thank job. Thank you. 
Thank yeah, you. Yeah, very, I've been I've been around the block enough to to know <laughs> when you when you sign up for stuff and it's frustrating and you don't get the, yes. the help or the clarity you need. So that's that's one thing I always keep at the forefront of my mind to be like, nah, let's let's not do it that way. That's no yeah, fun. that's no fun nah, for that, anybody. That's gonna take you far. That's gonna take you far. Thank you for that, Dan. Really appreciate that. Well, thank you for having me on the show, Nina. I really yeah. appreciate it. It's been really fun. Yeah, I'm glad you were here. Guys, you heard all of this, right? So make sure that you follow Dan. I'm going to make sure to link all of his information below because you got to make sure that you get your business in order. And what a better way to do it than with somebody who already knows their program, knows what they're doing and can walk you through that. I love that because as you guys all know, I'm always trying to give you tips, tools, resources, all that great stuff so that we can move forward together. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. You know the deal. This is Nina Perez, Straight Talk. Talk, no sugar added. Until next time.